Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Marino 300 speaking. I would normally say I hope you enjoyed the previous video, but I want to try to mix something up a little bit and add a little bit more editing. So, I'll skip over to future self to explain what I do in this video. And this video might be like two different parts because it might be too long or too short, but I'll let him to explain it. Right on to you, man. Yes, thank you, um, earlier Liz, for um, introducing me. This is how I'll hopefully be editing these types of things from now on, having me there uh, as past recording, and then me after now doing what I did in the video, so I don't keep cracking on and on, saying, oh, I'll do this and this, and then doing so completely else. So, what we will be doing later in this video is giving you a teaser on what and why this video is called Rush Rush. Mainly because there is two days later on this event, and two days to record and hopefully get the entire area done. At the current time of recording this, uh, streaming will happen in about 12-ish hours. So, yes. So, I'll give you back to uh, past me, continue this video. There you go, Liz. Yeah, thank you, man. Right, let's jump into this, everybody. You are caught up to it, and I have no idea what I'm going into, but he did. So, let's get going, everyone. you're still here. If Paima woke up alone, she probably would be trembling in a tree hollow. <laughs> the story begins in a forest without rain. Oh, oh, so this is quest. Now. We might be able to meet someone and figure out what this place is all about. Let's hope this quest isn't too long because, well, don't want this place closing down after all. Hmm, a butterfly. Leaf stream, don't tell me you forgot how to jump. I I didn't forget, Firecracker. I'm just not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. Okay, uh, let's hope it, well, let's hope it is something like the music event where we have the clip like one, two, three, and six, uh, Six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, whatever was the settings. But 
I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Difficult. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. <laughs> you saw that too, right? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? <laughs> this place is getting more confusing by the second. Agreed. Anyway, I... Uh... Why this do we go after those one? two frogs? They didn't look evil or anything. Plus, they might be able to help us out. <laughs> yeah, let me see what I am. Time remaining. This is the time remaining. Oh my gosh, there is so much to do. Oh my no! This is the rush rush. <laughs> What trinkets have we here? Present them for one's perusal. Guess we're not catching up to those frogs. They were so fast. Paimon couldn't even tell where they hopped off to in the end. Uh, excuse me, honored travelers. Did you come from the Cliff of Prophecy, perchance? <laughs> Chubby Paper Hamster just talked! Chubby? <laughs> Who are you calling Chubby? I've just got a slightly thicker layer of paper on me, that's all. <clears throat> uh, allow me to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Armand, and I'm an elder of the Forest of Blessings. Uh, I've been waiting here for the Hero of Prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch Paimon just to make sure she's not still dreaming? Oh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. Eh, uh, that's all right. We just need a minute to collect ourselves. Okay, let's think things through. <laughs> we know for sure this isn't the world we're familiar with. The talking paper animals and all the paper trees and plants make that pretty clear. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. That is what the prophecy says. <laughs> Deary me, I, I completely forgot to introduce you to this world, didn't I? <sighs> and here I am, getting all excited by the arrival of the hero. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, this old brain isn't what it once was. All shell and no nut. <sighs> oh, well, perhaps my once glossy paper has faded past the point of no return. It's okay, really. You can just tell us all about this world now. Oh, let me think. Hmm, where, where should I even begin? I've pretty much forgotten everything that happened in the past. Uh, right. Uh, I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as for uh, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. The goddess of creation, who presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Her powers also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy, with dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Even to this day, her, her statue still stands tall at the highest point of constellation Metropole. The final goddess was the goddess of fate, she who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate, and showed us the meaning of death and hope. Wow, they all seem super impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Uh, of course. The all new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world, and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the goddess of prophecy's numerous oracles. 
After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the goddess of fate about their most cherished dreams. <sighs> well, at least that's how it used to be. Uh, how it used to be? Did something bad happen? Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, yes this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget the day the evil dragon descended upon our forest. It came down from the skies in an ominous black mist and ravaged our homeland. Its gigantic footprints can still be seen in the kingdom of breezes and bells. We're incredibly fortunate that no one was hurt. Sounds terrifying. The terror doesn't stop there, I'm afraid. Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us, forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because a tavern closed? If we were talking about Monstat here, Paima might understand, but is it really all that serious? <laughs> Good. Goddess of creation above. We'd take even the greatest flood over the closure of the tavern. Wet paper will dry out with time. Fallen trees can be restored. But the calligraphy tavern is the only source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures in the forest. M magic what? Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. A, a special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. Well, our bodies will gradually crumple and become brittle until they eventually disintegrate entirely. Our colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until we can't even remember our own names. Does that mean you've already... Oh, I'm afraid so. The color has all but completely faded from my paper. To be honest, all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the Hero of Prophecy. But I've already forgotten who gave me that order to begin with. Then we've got to act fast! How can we help? Oh, brave Pixie. May the Goddess of Fate reward you and your friend for your kindness. Could it be? You're the heroes I've been waiting for all along. Um, not sure how we know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here, so it's not looking too promising. Well, uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old Armand Brain here. <laughs> the prophecy never mentioned anything like that. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the Hut of Blessings? Our forest fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Whoa, a forest fairy? Like one that knows magic? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> She's prophesized to join the hero on their journey. Well, then she sounds like exactly the kind of person we need. Please lead the way, Grandpa Almond. This bit right frame rate is perfect. Game bugs. <laughs> Uh, that's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. Whoa. Someone's in here. Let's hope I didn't hurt them. Oh, very desolate. Because I'm not exactly sure if I will be able to finish this in time. I'm a go exploring. These could be salvaged for parts. Challenges. A lot of challenges.
this one. Dev jump, let's press the intro button and pull the magic through the rails back to this. Yes. Jump forth. Wondering. That's outside of my known area. If I were to just, you know, go down there, would I be allowed to? Like, would it? Probably would. Kinda looks like the. Does that not kind of look like a? How about we explore the area ahead of us later? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paimon. There are world quests here. Rush, rush, rush is definitely the way of this. Definitely be um, playing for an extended period of time, starting very early. Uh, this is the place. If you could just wait a moment, the fairy should be. Traveler, Paimon. <gasps> Paimon knows that voice. I don't know that voice. It's really you. I'm so happy to see you. Spoilers. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Damn it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So Nilu is the forest fairy? Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. It's the weirdest thing. I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar, and then I guess I must have fallen asleep at some point because... Well, then I woke up dressed like this. And in my dream, someone spoke to me. They said, You are the fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Now go, save the forest with your magic. At first, I thought this whole world was just part of the dream. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to wake up. I couldn't find anyone I knew from the real world either. Sounds similar to what happened with us. We also have no idea how we got here. Anyway, sorry for my reaction back there. I got a bit too excited when I saw you two. It's okay, we totally understand. We were looking for a way out too. 
at least we know we're not alone. Oh, blessed be the goddess of fate above. You're already friends with the fairy of the forest. Grandpa Almond, thank you so much for bringing my friends here. Could you let the others know I'm coming? I'll head over right away. Uh, of course. Leave it to me. Hey-ho, pistachio. <laughs> Today truly is a blessed day. Wow, Nilu. Looks like you made short work of getting to know the locals. Well, when I arrived here yesterday, Grandpa Omen told me all about the state of this world. Since they think of me as their forest fairy, I just felt like I had to try to help them. Oh, so you mean like using some kind of forest magic to repair the tavern? Unfortunately, I don't know how to use the magic of this world. I've tried using my vision, but it doesn't seem to work here. Mine does. If the books stored in this hut are anything to go by, this seems to be the place where the goddess of creation first made the townspeople of this forest. She folded the pages of books into small origami animals, gave them life with her magic, and with time, that's how the Forest of Blessings took shape. Hmm. Maybe one of the books here could teach us how to use magic. I read them all, but only found one reference to magic. The incantation, Abracadabra, means to create what I say. This is a world made up of words where fantastical powers can be wielded by all. Okay, so basically everyone in this world can use magic? That's nice, but still kind of vague. Yeah, from the other books I read, it seems like this goddess really likes to play fast and loose with the details. So, what should we do now? Um, didn't you say you were going somewhere, Nilu? Oh, yes. I was going to help some of the other residents of the forest. They've been busy making preparations to reopen the tavern, so I thought I could help out. Got it! Guess we should just focus on what we can do for now. Yep. This whole thing is making me pretty nervous, actually. It's like I've been pushed on stage without being taught the choreography. Since I'm already wearing the costume, though, I might as well try to play the part. It's what a professional dancer would do. And who knows? Maybe I'll find my own magic along the way. All I can do is try, right? That is At true. least you're optimistic. Thank you. Then let's go. Let's go indeed. Bada boom. Okay. That works for us. Okay. What a pleasant surprise. What is all of this? What? Uh. Okay, uh, ooh, who's that? Okay, um, so now we've got a little taste on in what this is and what we're going to be rushing about. I know this was seem, seemed to be a short video, I'm sorry about that, but it's like, like, uh, four or five in the morning for me i know it's a quick one but i'm basically saying i'm back ready to stream i'm going to be streaming early tomorrow at about 9 maybe 10 p.m although if i am not doing if i'm not like um don't have a shift tomorrow then i'll be streaming earlier 
and I hope to see you all there tomorrow. So, I'll see you later, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Forgot the order of this. On the right here will be my latest video, and the left here shall be my first video of this series, and the center here shall be a subscribe button for my account. I hope all of y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I will be streaming tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great day or night. I'll see you all next time.